Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dave Partner and welcome to your next Node.js tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be doing something, we'll be looking at something called piping and we'll look at something called chaining. Then we'll look at how to compress and decompress files, any file using uh, Node.js, okay? So, like I told you, I won't be writing much code because you're already a pro. So I'll basically explain what's happening here. So we are calling the FS module for file input and output. Okay. Then here we are going to read from a, a file. The name, the file we are reading from is any name.txt. We already have it existing. So make sure you already have this file existing. And um, it's a note. Uh, text file that has um, this inside please donate files we have um, donated whatever okay just to make it unique all right so we have this inside this text file then right here in our piping so we've um, created a read stream to this then we've created a write stream we have not created this file so we basically want to read everything here and uh, create a new file called output.txt then transfer everything into it so these are two variables then this is where we actually do the reading read from read from here then pipe and write to this so that's basically what is happening here then we print program ended no callback so this will happen before pro program um, write successful so we go to our uh, we'll start a node.js command prompt type node if you have node installed this will show up then you click and um, we have to navigate to this folder so i'll just basically collect this copy then come right back here then cd into it then node Type in the JS. So that basically fixes it. And um, I typed node piping the JS so that the code we have here will run. And that's what we basically have here. Hit enter. Write successful. So which means the program was successful. So we check out this folder again. As you can see, um, we now have a new file. So when I click on it, the new file contains what is in the old file as you can see so that's it for piping for you it's basically a way to uh, transfer information from one file to another the next thing we'll check out is chaining how to chain several commands in node.js and to do that we'll try and see if we can compress and decompress a file so um, we can create a new file called chaining just for the purpose of an example um, we have it um, chaining.js then we we'll basically um, copy our code our code in piping we we'll copy it and um, because we we'll just have to adjust it a little to chain so we'll paste so first of all, after this, what we'll do is um, we to chain it. We just have to re require the module that helps us to, to compress. Zlib module helps us to compress. Then um, we'll try and create a stream. So we will read from this file then uh, we pipe we'll pipe to the next file let me just delete the rest of this so we change we we compress it so um, we have zly this is a variable we already declared here dot create gzip so we're trying to create a uh, compressed file 
and then we pipe again into the, the output file we want so we are looking for this file should create this program should create a new file write stream the new file should be called what do you want us to call this new file dot text is a text file but then this time is compressed dot gz then we print console dot log file compressed successfully so i hope you understand what went on here we imp imported two modules by using the require command this one will help us to compress this one will help us to do file input and output <laughs> so we um have uh we read what was inside this file then piped and compressed it then piped again and then inserted it into a new file called this all right so we save then we run so no what's the name of this file again chaining.js chaining.js well we have an error so we'll find out where we had the error so as you can see it's giving us uh, on line 7 right here there is an error we have a quotation mark starting here but we don't have it here because this is a string so we come here and um, fix that and see if we have another error then we run the command press the up arrow key and you have the command so file compressed successfully so let's look into our folder and see if we have any new file as you can see this new file has been created so in the next example um, right now we'll just see how we can decompress this guy so um, we can say uh, decompress text press.js okay and say yes so basically see how we can um, decompress remember the name of this file is new file.txt so in our new decompress um, file we have first of all we import the necessary modules these two guys hey come over to this place oh we import these two guys I'm lazy I didn't want to type it so we decompress so we have FS create read stream then we have to read from the file the new file dot oops new file dot txt dot gz we, we are pulling the thing the things inside the new file dot and uh, txt dot gz that we compressed then we pipe so i just want to show you that you can pipe this way too by going to the next line so we pipe and uh, we create g on zip remember in the last in the earlier one we did create gzip so this time we're just adding on zip since it's already compressed we're trying to decompress on zip it. so that's g on zip then we pipe one more time and uh, fs create write stream so we can write it into a new file that we call input input.txt okay so we print out that we have completed we have completed the operation thanks subscribe whatever so let's go through it one more time we imported these two modules then first of all then we we read what was inside here we piped it we unzipped it then we piped again into a new file and this new file doesn't exist as you can see we don't have input.txt there's nothing like input.txt so 
but new file already exists okay so we save and we run the compress.js so we have node the compress.js hit enter as you can see we have completed the operation thanks subscribe then we look for input.js this new file has been created so we open it and there you have it so that's how to compress and decompress with um, node.js and um, that's how to pipe and chain you understand you chain several operations you pipe several times you know so thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram for business video tutorials so thank you see you in the next tutorial